Happy Monday morning, everyone, and welcome back to a new video. Apologies for the appearance, I've just done a workout and it's very early. I thought I would show you this week what I eat for breakfast. I'm always really curious to know what people eat for breakfast and everyone has their go-to things that I feel like they just have on rotation. This morning, I am going for an old classic. This is something that I have all of the time. Just really hits the spot and it keeps me full for quite a long time. This is Greek style natural yogurt, but it's from Truithen. So it's a Cornish dairy brand. This was on Club Card for like £1.90. Oh, it's a nice thick yogurt. It is like proper Greek style. Right, so I have some of this. Oh, I don't know if you can see, but that is really thick yogurt. Just defrosted in the microwave some blueberries and some raspberries. Well, my microwave was doing that thing where it was like heating rather than defrosting. So a couple of these are a bit warm and a couple of them are still slightly frozen, but that's life. <laughs> I don't want like all the juice to go in there because I don't like it when it all gets runny. So I'm just putting these in here. And then I have this Simply Nutty Muesli by Dorset Cereals. This is by far my favourite muesli. Simply Nutty Muesli with delicious dates, roasted hazelnuts and brazils. And I think the clincher for me is the dates because they're a bit chewy and they just add a nice bit of texture. My mum thinks it's weird that I do this because I've already got berries in there. But I add a little bit of jam. This is just like a raspberry jam, a very basic one. To be honest, it's not the best. But I like having a big blob of jam. I'm a trusty pepper nut peanut butter. And if anyone doesn't buy the big tubs of peanut butter, I really encourage you to because I always thought, oh, that's way too much for, for us. And they were never gonna get through it all. But it keeps, and it's surprising how much peanut butter you go through if, like me, you add it to like quite a lot of things. And this one's quite nice because it's that horrible consistency. It was seven pounds originally, but it was reduced like five pound fifty, I think, for the pippin nut. I thought that was pretty good. And here we have it. A pretty balanced, ugly, <laughs> but delicious breakfast. Hmm. That yogurt is very yogurty, if you know what I mean. It almost tastes a little bit sour. Do you prefer a sweet or savory breakfast? Or do you chop and change? Because I like to chop and change. And also nothing is off limits with me for breakfast. I don't really see breakfast as like a defined thing. I'm going to finish this and I will see you tomorrow. What a glorious morning. Makes me sick. Okay, that's my Hocus Pocus impression. Sorry for looking to stay. It is Tuesday and I'm looking for breakfast. I'm working from home today, so I need to do something relatively quick. I'm thinking I put some olive bread that it's going a little bit stale. Do I have a nosy in my cupboard? That's always fun. This is what's going on here at the moment. This is some rhubarb infused vodka that I've got marinating. <laughs> Infusing, I should say. Lots of noodles, no surprises there. This is chaotic. I'm looking forward to moving and having a little bit more room to store food. In my new house, I've got a pantry and I cannot wait. I cannot wait to just get in there and I'm probably gonna buy more stuff than I need just to see it in there. And I'll probably just go and have a, have a look at my pantry if I'm having a bad day. I'm thinking I'm using this olive loaf. I got this from Tesco and it was sensational. Well, it is sensational. So I'm thinking of using that, making some toast with some hummus and mushrooms and then I usually add this like garlicky hot sauce. There's something about olive bread is that those pops of saltiness that you get in the bread just, ugh, I could eat the whole lot. This is gonna go in the toaster. This is just the standard classic hummus from Tesco, nothing fancy. And I've got chestnut mushrooms because chestnut mushrooms are just better than Close cut mushrooms. Mushrooms going in. My favourite spatula isn't clean. What's this? 
fish slice. What I do is I spread them out evenly, then I don't touch them because you want them to go a little bit like charred. I kind of want this kind of colour. This is when I would add salt and pepper because if you add salt too early, all the moist just pulls more moisture out of the mushrooms and then you don't get this colour. So salt afterwards. There's something about this. Cheers. This is so good. It's vegan. I'm doing my bit for the planet. Not that I am vegan. I could barely do it for a month. I will say, trying to go vegan changes your whole approach to how you eat. When I tried to do veganery for like, yeah, obviously for a month, I was experimenting so much with plant-based food and realizing how much meat I was eating and how many animal products and everything I was eating. So it really made me mindful of that. And now even though I'm not vegan anymore, I definitely feel as though I have more vegan meals in my diet. It's the earthy hummus and the creaminess with that crunchy bread and the mushrooms are really like umami and a little bit charry. And then with that, I say, put some flaky salt on them. This hot sauce with some like sweetness and some tang and it all just goes together. What were we doing before hummus? Sometimes I think that. Hummus is such a big part of my diet that I'm like, what was I doing before hummus? I don't even want to live with the world without hummus. It's not even 8am and my partner has already fat shamed me for my breakfast choices and I'm not having it. We've got some bacon in the fridge that's going off tomorrow. So having to do something with bacon so he's fried up some bacon and just had a bacon bagel. And then I came down and I was like, I think I'm gonna have a bacon bagel, but I think I'm gonna add cheese and I'm gonna add like a gochujang mayonnaise with some spring onion. I'm fancying something a bit like with loads of flavor and spice this morning. And he was like, oh, do you need any more fat with that? <laughs> so despite him, that's actually what I'm gonna make. And I think it's gonna be delicious. It's just a case of constructing it, really. We've got some bacon good to go on the side. Smoked ofs. I've forgotten how good bacon smells. Like, I almost think it... Well, I've always said this. I think it smells better than it tastes, but... I don't know if anyone agrees with that. Got these yesterday from Sainsbury's. They're everything bagels. And they're from Fitzgerald's, which is like a bakery in, it's an Irish bakery. And for anyone who doesn't know, like everything bagels are like an American thing and it, they're topped with black and white sesame seeds, onion, garlic, and poppy seeds. So, a bit of everything. I'm gonna toast one of these, they're already sliced, which makes me dubious about the quality of them because I feel like once they're sliced, they go a bit drier. Oh, it's a bit stuck. Okay, I'm gonna toast that. I'm gonna chop myself some cheese. I don't know where to put some lettuce in it. If we've got some lettuce. Have we got lettuce? Ah, we do. Got some good old Remain hearts. I'm gonna use this extra mature cheddar from Aldi, which is really good actually. I can't remember how much it was. Award winning dairy, apparently. This is gochujang, which is a Korean fermented chili hot paste type situation. It's really, really like, how I'd describe it is it makes you go, mm, it's like delicious, umami, all those things. I don't find it that hot, to be honest. If you're sensitive to spice, I wouldn't put too much of this on, but I'm gonna add mayo onto the other side of the bagel to like mellow things out a little bit. Cheese first.
Now this looks good. The lighting wasn't very good in my kitchen, so I'm taking this outside. This is what we're dealing with. I'm gonna devour this. That is so good. Oh my God. That's next level. This might be one of my new things. Bagel's really good actually, would recommend it. The smoky heat of that gochujang with the smokiness of that bacon. And then the cheese, that little bit of onion, it just works as a combination. I'm a very happy bunny. This is 10 out of 10. 100% recommend this, 100% would have it again. Good morning, it's a new day. I didn't sleep very well last night. Um, I look awful, but I said I was gonna film every day this week to do these breakfasts and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm having a weird breakfast today. I, I was feeling the pressure to like create something really cool because I'm filming and then I thought, well, no, I'm just gonna be honest with what I'm eating. So basically I've got, I've got a counseling appointment that I've got to go to later. Um, so I need to get ready and I'm in a bit of a rush. But last night I made this like, this vegetarian ragu sauce type thing with, oh, I've got a hair in my mouth. I guess from my beard, okay. Um, I made this vegetarian ragu, which is kind of what it looks, what's looking like. It's got peppers, courgette, onions. I had this like vegan induya paste from, the brand that I love is from that set that you might have seen in another video, but it's this. It's really good actually. It does add that kind of similar hot meatiness to it, even though it's not meat. I still need to get through this bacon that's going off, so I don't know whether to fry up some little bacon pieces and then add, add it to the pasta and then just have that for breakfast because I need to use it up. So that's what I'm gonna do. So it's gonna be pasta for breakfast. Love that sound. This is so random, you're probably thinking, what the hell is he doing? <laughs> I'm kind of thinking it too. It's a beautiful day. I'm really looking forward to a walk, actually. <laughs> Not so pretty with the bin there, but... This is looking good, actually. I'm happy about this. It's not really breakfast in some people's eyes, I imagine, but it's gonna be mine. Kept the pasta cold. A, because I couldn't be able to heat it up, and B, sometimes I feel like when you've had something hot, to have it cold is like a new experience. It's a little bit weird with the bacon being hot and the pasta being cold, but I feel like I burnt my mouth on something last night. Well, it must've been this. You know, when you just got that slight bit in the roof of your mouth, it's a bit sore. It's taking away some of the enjoyment of eating because it hurts. Anyway, I need to eat this, get in the shower. I've got quite a lot that I want to achieve today. It is my day off. So I'm going to crack on with this and I'll see you for the next breakfast. Good morning. It's a new day to be gay. <laughs> and it is a very dreary day. Look at the situation. Not so pleasant out there. So I'm still making my way through those bagels. We've got two everything bagels left. And this is gonna be a using up everything in the fridge type breakfast. It's just to get everything gone. Let's see morning, Josh. Bonjour, bonjour. So we've got these bagels left, a little bit of courgette. I have these haricot beans. So I'm thinking of doing like a smoky harissa style baked beans. I've got these smoky, I've got this smoky chili harissa paste which is in the fridge and needs using up. There's a little bit left in there. So yeah, I think I'm gonna add some onion, some pepper, maybe some tomatoes, the harissa. I've got some feta in the fridge as well that needs using up and then I've also got some fresh coriander that needs using up. So I feel like that would just bring it all together.
having a caramelised chocolate with Biscoff stuff date thing that I've made for one of my shorts. Mmm. Oh, it's good, isn't it? Just having a sip of my boyfriend's coffee. It's looking good. Oh, it's lush. So smooth. Not bitter at all. Smelling good so far. I've got the onions, peppers, courgette, garlic. I've salt and peppered it a bit. And I'm just really... I don't want any like crunchy bits in this. I want it to be like quite soft and comforting because I'm having it for breakfast. So I'm almost there. And then I'm going to add some spices. I'm thinking about maybe some ground cumin. Coriander. Always ground cumin and coriander. And some chili flakes. My trusty big pot here. And then I'm going to add in the smoked chili harissa paste, some tomato puree, cook that down and then add some chopped tomatoes I think and the beans. Well, let's see how it goes. I feel like I want to add some of this. I always add this and everything just for a little bit of sweetness. I just want to eat all of this. Now I'm just going to let this simmer, bring it up to a boil, let it simmer until it goes to a nice sort of thick, <laughs> I call it a mushy bean consistency. Let me know if you understand that reference. It's like when the beans go thick and, mush thick and mushy. That's always how I have my beans on toast, it's the best. Now this is more of the consistency I was looking for. Yeah, I'm not really fancying feta on mine. You just saw, saw us dish up Josh's. This feta's a little bit, honestly, I, it smells a bit sour to me. I'm not feeling it. It's funky feta. Funky feta. But for some reason, well, I'm going to try it as it is and then see if it needs anything else. What do you think? Mm. I just love these bagels. Mmm. There's a really nice smoky flavour on it. I do actually think the feta works with it. Really smoky. In a good way. The haricot beans are a bit hard though, aren't they? Probably because they're quite cheap. <sighs> like Aldi's. But I'm putting a little bit of this on there. <laughs> Basically a garlic and herb sauce. Just I feel like it needs something creamy, but I don't want to add the feta. The feta works. Yeah, I think like... I feel like if the feta was fresh, I'd be all over it. It's good with the garlic and herb, actually because it kind of balances out the smokiness. When we were making this, we were like, ugh, I'm not actually fancying it now. But this is definitely more of a brunch, it's quarter past 11. And Josh had an idea to go out for breakfast, but I really wanted to use these bagels up. And I'm glad we have. It's not the breakfast I wanted, but I am enjoying it. <laughs> this is the last breakfast of the week. So this is breakfast number five, so I'm gonna round it out here. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. It's been very real. I haven't gone out of my way to eat differently because I wanted to give that very realistic interpretation of what I eat. And I hope you've enjoyed it and got some inspiration. I'll see you for the next one.